Welcome back everybody to another 60 minutes to lose where we play a game for an hour and see what happens. Maybe magic will happen. Today's episode, Eight Eyes, developed by Thinking Rabbit and published by Taxan. So it's a Seda slash Thinking Rabbit. I'm guessing maybe uh, Thinking Rabbit is like a uh, offshoot company, kind of the B team of Seda. Bad news, because Seda is not really out there anyway, or out there. They're not on top of the world anyway. Okay, select, ooh, password. S uh, start stage, I guess we have to start in Arabia. Now, eight eyes. This is a blatant Castlevania clone. I mean, look at this. Try to tell me that it's not. Oh, there we go, we had to flip a switch, okay. So, so far it's better than Castlevania because Castlevania never had switches. And uh, look at that, we have to pick up crosses instead of uh, hearts. It's a very different game. We uh, have a very uh, low range sword instead of a nice long range whip, which is part of what made Castlevania so uh, playable and good. Okay, 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 very good. We, we are already uh, taking much damage. There we go. It's okay. This is all. Uh, this is all just practice for when for when the video actually starts. Oh crap! It's already started. Ah. Okay. So interestingly enough, I have to press up and jump if I want to use a special. That's not even. I'm not even using a special item. I'm, I'm not using anything. I don't have anything equipped. What's going on? What are you, eight eyes? Oh my goodness. We're. We're taking a lot of damage. There we go. Now we have a special item. It's a little uh, marble that bounces around and does not kill anything in one shot, apparently. Well, this doesn't kill those guys in one shot. I can't go through that door. That's not really a door. It's just uh, there to look cool. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, uh, obviously the... Uh The, the visual aesthetics are, of course, very, very similar to Castlevania. Nobody is uh, denying that for a second. Except for the developers, who are like, no, 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 no. We didn't rip off Castlevania. Okay, I have apparently sicked my bird on the enemy, so I can hit up and B to uh, bring it right back. Mm, nice, nice. My special dagger there uh, went straight through the skeleton. Oh, beautiful. We're, all, we're almost dead. We are dead. Hmm. Imagine if we had a whip. <laughs> I may as well just initiate because I didn't make any kind of um, <laughs> progress. I wonder if you play two player if you get to play as the bird. Or if, if player two gets to play as the bird. It'll be real interesting. Looks like the bird is named uh, Sutris. They wanted to name it Citrus, but they would have been sued by uh, the orange. The orange company. <laughs> the company that makes all the oranges, not grows, makes. Okay, so far I've noticed that uh, the enemy units have more reach than you do, which is, uh, oh nice, I got hit as I was climbing the stairs, so there was literally nothing I could do. Okay, now, I kinda, okay, that guy doesn't wanna hurt me, I guess. Wait, can I like talk to him or something? What if I hit up by this guy? Oh, nope. But touching him... Okay, never mind. I can't hurt him, but he can sure hurt me. I see. I had a sneaking suspicion that this game would not be uh, anywhere near actual Castlevania quality. I'm not saying that I'm right just yet, but I think I'd safe to say that uh, they can't really go very far from here. Like, it's giving itself a heck of a floor to work with. Okay, well, almost dead again. Before I even reach the skeleton room, nice. Okay. Door closes too quickly. Special thanks to the bat for keeping me away from the door. Yeah, yeah. 
Okay, it, it looks like my little orb thing freezes enemies. Well, I'm, I'm already out of uh, charges for it. <laughs> this ain't amazing. I was, like, crossing my fingers and hoping for the best. Like, I had seen footage of this game before and I knew that it was a blatant Castlevania ripoff, but I was, I was hoping, like, hey, maybe... Maybe it'll be a decent one. Oh, I've just wasted a continue. Don't waste a continue doing nothing, unless you get infinite continues, I don't know. Maybe you should just use continues. <sighs> anyway, I was hoping that it would have been a solid Castlevania ripoff, but I'm, I'm quickly coming to terms with the fact that I may have had a pipe dream there. But then again, maybe we, I just have to get good, right? Is this a game that allows you to get good? Or is this a game that says, uh... You're just kind of subject to my whims. If when I want you to take damage, you will take damage, you know. Those kinds of games certainly exist. And this... Oof, it's looking like one of them. That's why I, you know, uh... I don't entertain the notion that uh, video games were universally better back in the day. It's just not true. If you want to say, oh, video games had more soul back in the day, maybe you're onto something there. Depending on what your definition of soul even is. Ouch, okay, so they don't infinitely spawn from the doors. Just, uh... They spawn enough to be very annoying. The bats probably infinitely spawn, however. Yeah, okay, get through that door while you can. Nice, he stops right in front. You know, solid tactics from the skeleton. He knew where to stop to make sure that I, uh... Couldn't quite get him, and then he bum-rushed me afterwards. Congratulations for being the smartest skeleton in an NES game I've seen. You've earned it. Congratulations on, uh... Being a pile of bones I can't seem to get past. Yep, I have yet to make it past the pile of bones. Maybe I should try to kill it next time, huh? <laughs> we could be stuck on Arabia for a while, man. Uh... It's times like this, when I look back to the wisdom of my great-grandpappy who didn't play video games. He says, son, when you can't get far in eight eyes, try slowing down. I'm like, oh, Grandpa, screw your... <laughs> screw your advice. Going slow is for eight eyes losers. We call those four eyes. Because people wear glasses are lame! It's me, I'm lame. Nice. Got his got his shit in. Oh yep, yep, yep. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You gotta get Oh, they keep spawning. That should be the last of them though. Okay. We have made it here after having taken much damage. Yo, got him, got him, got him, got him! <laughs> Froze him when I had to. Now the, yeah, now the skeleton's gonna bum rush me, and there's nothing I can do about it. This knife goes straight through it. It's... Oh my god, dude. I, well, I tried to jump over that. Okay, look at that. Those die in one hit. So yeah, don't feel... Don't feel scared. Or don't be afraid of uh, trying to best the skeleton blob in hand-to-hand -hand combat. My bird is uh, trying to tank for me. I appreciate the gesture, bird. It's the furthest we've ever made it. Best we've ever done. How's that for depressing? You got. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, you gotta start walking over there when his back's turned. <laughs> Not much of a game right now, gotta say. Ah! And we're dead. game over. Whatever, just initiate. On the off chance that we do only have uh, limited continues, I don't need to be wasting them all here. God. 
come on. <laughs> okay. At least, you know, coming close enough to where I can get a real hit in on you. I understand that it's not to your benefit, but uh, the game logic should benefit the player in most circumstances. For the sake of uh, fun. But they hadn't yet invented fun, actually. Fun wasn't invented until Final Zone came out in 1989. <laughs> no, that's not true. Or was that... Am I 1990 with the Genesis? I can't remember. Wow. Wow. Just a whole lot of wow going on in here. I made it through that door. Don't even start with me. Come on. Come on, bird. Thank you. <laughs> That's like the most important thing in this particular hallway is to uh, freeze the skeletons. There's no other way you're gonna get them without taking unnecessary hits. Look at that, the nice double fireball so that you can't actually uh, negate it or stop it. We're already hitting full complain mode, I'm aware. But quite frankly, the game deserves it. The game pretty much asked for it. Wow. <laughs> you see this? Get me out of here, man. Ah, that was, well, wasn't what I meant by get me out of here. <laughs> Be careful what you wish for. Wow, we destroyed one skeleton in melee combat. I'm not going to say without taking a hit, because he hit me before, but uh, once we actually engaged in the combat portion... I was okay. Wow, very nice. So, we'll, we'll just have to dodge bat hell to make it over to that door? Oh my god. <laughs> so many bats. Excuse me? How, how, how are you supposed to do that? Can my... Let's just say, can my bird flip the switch? Nope. It was, it was a thought. I tried it. Okay, I, I see what I have to do here. I have to go just in one swift movement. What? <laughs> uh... I don't know what to do here. That doesn't do it. Yeah, that's that's that, that's not actually possible, I don't think. No, oh, let's Oh, I don't want to drop all the way down here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Eight Eyes, the best game you've ever played. Yeesh. Turns out only Castlevania can really be Castlevania. I wish I could, like, select a different stage or something, you know? Oh, I can! Oh, this changes everything! Let's, let's try Africa. Let's struggle in Africa a little bit, see if it's better than Arabia. Very, um, culturally sensitive, uh, depiction of an African. You saw that coming from 1990. Welcome to 1990, by the way. I forgot to make some fanfare out of it. This is, uh, January of 1990. We've entered a new decade in gaming. Looks a lot like the previous decade in gaming so far. I hope I'm not just going in a loop. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Brilliant ideas. I think I literally am just going in a loop. Uh oh. <laughs> this could be bad. <laughs> Bird. Thank you. Maybe it's, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not a loop. Maybe I'm just paranoid. Oh, he's definitely feeling like a loop, though. 
<laughs> I could I could have done that for a long time without without noticing. Yeah, that, that is how it be though. Okay, well let's let's climb up twice. Maybe that's what they want from you. They just want to inconvenience you as much as possible. Nope. And I can't go in here. I can't slash this. Okay, you can apparently select things over there. We go down and then up? No. <laughs> what if we're not in a loop at all and I'm just making this more difficult on myself? Oh, what, what is this? Um, I think I healed my bird? It's nice and all, but what about me? What about I? Oh, hello, I found a way out. I don't know if I, like, hit that with the proper amount of momentum or something. Okay, we wait for me to turn his back, and then we, we get in there, and... What? We can't... Why can't we damage him? We can't actually do any damage to the spearmen? Or do we just have to hit him with, like, the tip? Wow. Nope, we... Okay, well, we can't hurt the enemies in this stage. At least not with what we've currently got. I don't know if there are different weapons you can unlock or not, but this is, uh... It's a pretty bad start, I gotta say. I was hoping that Africa would bring me some... some luck. Instead, it has brought me mosquitoes and spearmen. Well, if nothing else, I know that I can uh, select levels at the start of the game so we can do a little world tour of misery here. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. No, not this again. I, I don't remember how I got out of this uh, hellish maze. <laughs> maybe... Maybe I'm right and it's not a maze, and I just have to keep going down. I don't know. Yes, I had to keep going down. Pretty tragic level design going on in here, though. I'm weeping right now. Nice. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps you would say- perhaps you would call that nice? With the glorious, unkillable spearman? He makes, uh, Dr. Jekyll look downright potent with his little, uh, pokey cane, right? Yeah. Quite frankly, I'm glad we died. Oh no! My battery! <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Spare. Uh, see, I disconnected over there. It's okay. Oh. World record Xbox controller battery swap speed run. Not even close. <laughs> okay, well, uh, let's initiate. Let's let's try Spain. I'm sure Spain is fine, right? What could possibly go wrong in Spain. Okay, okay, well, uh, they feel a lot like the guys in Arabia, just with more hit points. I don't love that. Oh, I tried to get one over on him. You're not getting one over on anybody in this game, though. <laughs> Good god. Apparently, yeah, the Mexican runner actually really liked this game, like, quite a bit. Surprised. I guess I'm not too surprised he did give, um, X-Men a 7 out of 10 for, uh, controller mechanics. Like a 2 overall, but <laughs> I was like, I don't think so, my friend. Aha. El Chizo. Now we have the P-Ball. They made the pee ball, and the first person to see it said, You got pee. On I'm, I'm not finishing that. <laughs> Even I have my limits, come on. I can pretend I have a modicum of self respect. Did you see how the ball just like perfectly dodged that archer? Stellar. Dude, look at his tonfa. He's so tough. 
I don't think you can actually hit these guys once without taking a shot yourself. Maybe you can, but you gotta really finagle it. Is this like le Is this kinda like Mega Man 2? Do we get like a power up if we beat a boss or something and then it makes the next stage easier? And is there like a definitive easiest first stage, like a uh, Gutsman? Ah, uh, sorry, that's Mega Man 1. Well, I don't know why I singled out Mega Man 2, they're literally all like that. <laughs> like, welcome to every Mega Man game ever. Alright, screw it. I'm skipping the NES and I'm just doing a 60 minutes to lose on the Nintendo Wii. <laughs> Play all the uh, shovelware. WiiWare and everything. Don't just do retail box games. No, 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 no. Do the bottom of the barrel. Although, you can get pretty far in the bottom just with the uh, retail box games. After all, Ninja Bread Man got a physical release and... Ooh, that's, a, that's an appallingly terrible game. I could do it, though. I do have a dolphin bar hooked up to my computer. Look at this! What the heck? Oh, no, we can't... E we can't even damage the kickboxer? I don't... I don't get the point of having enemies that you can't damage. Yep, st still took a hit from the Tonfa Bearer. So far giving credence to my assumption that you can't, uh... What the heck?! <laughs> you can't avoid taking damage in this game? Like, at all? Maybe I have to, like, be using my bird more. Maybe that's a very crucial part of the game. As it flies across the top of the screen and does nothing. Alright, we've died. Well, that was Spain. Nice to see it. Let's, um, give a little peek into Germany. Obviously, we can't go to the House of Ruth. I'm sure that that's a final stage kind of territory here. For anybody brave enough to make it to the final stage of Eight Eyes, i.e. anybody who got it for Christmas and was like, well, now I need my money's out worth out of it. We have a gun? Perfect. That'll that'll be a game changer for sure. I don't have any... Yeah, I don't have any uh, item power in which to use it. Dude, I... Come on, quit, quit turning around. Boomerang, uh, I prefer the gun. I mean, Boomerang is, I'm sure, cool and all. Okay, maybe, maybe that's how you have to fight enemies. Just do a little, a little poke action. Perfect, I'll, I, I can definitely make it over there in time. Do I need, like, a special item for this stage or something? Have I arrived in the wrong order? Am I playing Eight Eyes wrong? It's possible. Uh, nope. Poking doesn't matter, actually. <laughs> There's nothing you can do in this game. I'm weeping. Well, you know, let's just... Let's go over here then. There's nothing for us over here. There's nothing for us anywhere. No matter where you go in Eight Eyes, you're in the wrong place. You were in the wrong place the second you started the game. Molotov cocktail? Seems a little modern, doesn't it? I mean, I, I, I guess I don't know the exact time frame that Eight Eyes takes place. Oh, look, we've looped back here. Oh, so, uh, see, it's easy. In those few seconds that it's open, we just have to loop all the way back down to the bottom of the stage. And I don't actually know how to play. Burn. Wow, nice. Yeah, you know how Castlevania makes the um, holy water take up three tiles, so even if you miss, you can still get some damage done? Ada has decided... We don't need any girly stuff like that. You will hit it on the exact tile. And if you miss... God help your soul. I tell you what, it makes me appreciate Simon's quest more. <laughs> I 
Right. Well, this is... Nope, I can't go left. I was going to say, is the left where the start of the level was? Hey, look, it's Danny DeVito. Now we get this, a nice little... Warp back to wherever this is. I don't know. That's another great thing about Castlevania, you know, is like you're never, um, you're never confused about where you're going. Oh, wow. You are in Simon's Quest, I'll give you that. But in like Castlevania 1, 3, it's like, hey, go here. Just, you know, overcome anything in your way. It's like, I can do that, boss. Alright, well, Germany was a bust. I'm sure Egypt's not gonna be much better. Let's see, what do I associate with Egypt? Uh,. Cryptic Pyramids? Skeletons, I guess? Wow. Killed one bat without taking a hit? Achievement unlocked? The best to ever do it is me. Nice, getting rushed by the skeleton, kind of no matter what way you approach from. Not a lot you can really do <laughs> about this game. I don't have any item power, so I can't uh, unleash a freeze ball. Maybe it's literally just a snowball. How clever would that be? Well, what's that? Not clever at all? I think that maybe Arabia is indeed the easiest, uh, the easiest place to start. How sad is that? But we still need to try India and Italy. Looking a lot like, a lot like Arabia here. Died in one hit, that's a good sign. I mean, granted, they're chunking me pretty decently, but, uh... I'll take what I can get. Two hits, and then they move at you. Remember that. Two hits, and then they close in. These things. Hey, That's the first time I've taken on one of those without taking a hit. Throwing Knife Man. This is, this is his name. Now remember, we slide downstairs. It's goofy, but not helpful. Prefer just the direct drop down them in Castlevania? I prefer everything about Castlevania. Why am I even comparing them? Because it's still just a massive clone. They're like, we took all of its superior uh, genetics and made something worse. By gods. You can't. We did. Great. Another one of these, a very uh, slow switch that we uh, we can't possibly make it to the door in time for. Let's say there's there's got to be something related to the bird, right? Like the. <sighs> Hold on, let me try something here. It's time to experiment. Let's unleash the bird down here. Now, when the bird reaches the switch... Oh, oh, missed it. Hey, that's something. Okay, okay. I should have done that in the very first level, but I, I didn't think about it now, because I didn't realize I could make the bird swoop. Perhaps this will make, ah, this will make some of the game playable. Like, maybe, maybe the bird has to attack the guy in the, in the chains. Oh! I still hate it, but uh, <laughs> that at least tells me what to do, kind of. My bird does have limited health as well, so I can't just like rely on it for everything. As nice as that would be.
Now I know, if I cannot damage something, my bird may very well, may very well be able to. Danny DeVito, back with another uh, all-time classic. Good. Swoop him. We swooped him, baby. Swoopity whoop. Okay, well, this, this changes many things. Many, many such things. Once I die here, I mean, of course, I'm gonna try Italy after this, but uh, I'm definitely going to uh, go back to Arabia and see if I can't, you know progress a little bit more there. Okay. Very obviously, uh, I did all that in kind of the wrong order. Last thing I need now is for my bird to die. That would be a great way to, uh, you know, cap this little experience here off. Got it. At least now I know that it's not just like, oh, they programmed the doors to be too fast and you to be too slow. It's a terrible game. Now I'm like, hey, no, I just didn't know what I was doing and missed a crucial gameplay mechanic. I'm a little more forgiving of that, I guess. Initiate. Let's try Italy. I got fairly far there, but, uh,. I just want to take a look at all of the locales before I commit to one to get stuck on for the next half an hour. Okay. Play it slow. Play it steady. Look at that. Oh. Took a small hit. Took another small hit. I should have mentioned this at the start of the video as well. It should have been obvious from my previous banter, uh, but tomorrow there will be no episode due to the My Chemical Romance show. I'm not going. I'm just uh, not doing an episode in honor of it. No, I am going. I spent way too much money on it to not go. There have been a handful of shows that either I buy tickets to or my wife buys tickets to and then the day comes and we're like, mm, I don't feel like it. Because we're absolute chumps. I'm figuring the game out slowly. But no, this is this is not one of them. Uh, I would have my hide tanned if that were to happen. She'd be like, die forever. And I'd say, well, I guess I have no choice. So that's what you do. You coax an attack out of them, see how many times they do their attack, and then you go in and tickle them. Okay. While dealing with all the floaty garbage around you. Ah! Never thought I'd say I wish that I had Medusa heads around instead. Actually, no, Medusa heads are probably still worse than this. Okay. The brown crosses are smallish health pickups. This I have come to recognize. One, two, three, hit. One, two, three, hit. Okay, okay. You know, maybe... Just maybe. I, uh... I had to stop trying to pretend that this was just Castlevania. Maybe that was what the problem was. Maybe it's like, no. You gotta realize that you're playing Eight Eyes and that it's played entirely differently. Does three. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm. I, I think I'm cracking the code a little bit more. So for those of you who uh, stuck around, you may yet be rewarded with actual content. Learning to use the bird. That adds a layer of depth that I 
really didn't see coming. I'll take health. Please. <laughs> I'll take item as well. Okay, this is the farthest I've made it in like any single stage, probably. I'm now, can I employ my combat strats on skeletons? Yes. I shouldn't have tried to duck there. It never works. Okay, let's just, let's just get out of here though. My bird's taking a beating, help! Bird down. Bird's still here, fortunately. If Citrus were gone, boy, we'd be we'd be in a tough spot right now. As far as I can see, you pretty much need the bird for a lot of the doors. Okay, you? I was gonna say, I'd love to destroy you before you can even do damage to me, but that's wishful thinking. Nobody likes mosquitoes. Not in real life, not in video games. Oh. It's a bad place to have frozen that cat, actually. I can't even get to it. It's not much better. Is it gonna jump for me? Okay, 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 okay. I've used all my... <laughs> my item! No, 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 no! Oh-ho! It can't get to me here! Check this out. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, I can't leave. There's no timer, no rush. <laughs> Just get your hits in when you can. I'll take that. <laughs> Dang it, it's too short. I can't shoot it from where I'm at. Why am I so amused that there's literally just a gun here? Okay, the bird has to stay down here. So that it can hit the switch. So that I can get terrorized by mosquitoes up here. Ah, they interrupted my jump. Good to see that fantasy game mosquitoes are just as bad as real life mosquitoes though. It's heartwarming really. Very impressed with myself. For coming as far as I have? Dude, that, that looks like a boss to me. What am I gonna do about the... the cat? I would love to face the correct direction. No, no, no! Don't kill me! I think the cat... the cat literally killed me. Oh my god, that's awful. Can, can I continue, like, there, kind of? No. I don't think I can. Hold on, I'm gonna try it. No, you let her get that old stage over. Okay, well, let me try Arabia. Let me try Arabia, because I think uh, that's where they start you. Perhaps you are for sure intended to start here. Maybe they're saying, hey, this is, this is the easiest bet. Give it a go, we beseech you. Yo. Those guys, their reach is still a little long. Even with my newfound uh, skills. Eh, yikes, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like I've just unlearned everything. Hold on, watch this, watch this. Swoop! Ah, I tried to swoop, but I hit the wrong button or something. Okay, there we go. Well, I took way too much damage trying to do something mildly interesting. That's right, I have to jump immediately to get the crossbow guy. Like, immediately, immediately. Okay, got that one. Just farm bats for a while. I need the health. <laughs> Not if I can't, you know, even face the proper direction.
I was hoping that I'd come in here and I'd be like, yeah, you've never seen me do this stage so well, and instead I'm just kind of doing the same piss-poor <laughs> job that I've done every other time I've tried it. There's no joy to be seen here. Yikes. See, at least the skeletons have the courtesy of not swinging so quickly. <laughs> I can actually escape and then get a hit in. Come on now. Look at that! Look at the strats! Look at the strats! The, such good strategy! I'm doing <laughs> Maybe Italy is the easiest one. Ah, leave it to the Italians. Yeah, I'm I'm trying Italy again. That one easily gave me the the best luck. <coughs> Let me just drink water wrong first. <coughs> ah. Aren't we such a great species? <coughs> what the heck? <coughs> Straight up got like a <coughs> phantom fruit flavor. <laughs> the sensation of coughing. <coughs> With a mildly fruity flavor for some, for some reason pervading my mouth gave me the effect of uh, smoking like a Swisher Sweet. Oh yeah, man. I used to be a... Uh, a little, uh, scumbag. <laughs> no, not really. I've been, uh... I've been boringly well-behaved most of my life. <coughs> I had some real blunder years in high school. Obviously, but not like, oh, he's getting in trouble with the law or anything like, like that. Just like, oh wow, he's, he's, he's cringe. <laughs> Whomst Among Us has not been there in high school. If you're the kind of person who tries to be like, Oh no, I didn't really have a, uh, a cringeworthy era when I was in high school. I call you a liar, and I do so... ...feeling justified. Okay, so, these guys? I would have loved to pick up your gigantic cross. Nice! I'm just gonna assume that the boomerang is better than the knife. Having never used the boomerang at all. Yaka! <clears throat> I'm feeling okay so far though. If I can, like, manage to beat one stage, maybe I won't hate the game as much as I was hating it when I started here. Again, I, I had to figure it out. Wrangle it. That's how a lot of games are, though. I'm not gonna, like, change the narrative up, the narrative up and be like, Actually, Eight Eyes is really good. I don't think that that's true. I'm just, you know, I don't wanna... I don't wanna unfairly judge a game, right? I'm sure I've done that before. And I'm sure there's probably someone who watches and they're like, That's bullshit, he didn't even play the game right. I'd say, you know, probably. Probably been known to happen. Okay, got the health. That's good. Come back to me, bird. Let's see if we can't preserve some health together. Actually, I'm gonna need you to s swoop. There we go. Big swoop action. Italy's chill though. Like, I can do Italy so far. Maybe other levels would be chill as well if I understood what I was doing while playing them. Got him. Big, big health cross. 
highly uh, anticipated pickup. Bats can kind of um, leave forever. I may be improving at the game marginally, but that doesn't mean that I don't hate the bats and everything they stand for. I think that we're capped off on item space, actually. You probably get upgrades. Which is the best. Okay. I can slot myself in here. Probably a terrible idea, but you can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're gonna get fired upon. We did. We have some health remaining. Enough health for me to feel okay for now. Wish I could have gotten that tiny amount of HP though. That's how much I'm starving here. Oh my god. Especially when you know that the cats are gonna make your life miserable. Come on now. Come on now! Yeah, just like that. I was like, I'm in an okay position, and then I throw it all away. Is this the boss? Yes. And I don't have the gun this time, either. Freeze the cat. Very cool. Can we kill the cat? Nope! Can we despawn the cat? Yes. Oh, he's throwing playing cards? He'd like to play Hanafuda with us. Okay, well, we died. Look at how much uh, damage we did to him. <laughs> the, just the tiniest little pixel. Uh, yeah, you know, even understanding how the game works a little more, I gotta say, I uh, can only do so much with this uh, absolutely tiny sword. Look at that. <laughs> Castlevania would have been a much worse game. Had you not gotten any whip length power ups? And I guess I don't know that. Maybe it would have been a better game. No. Nice. Got that one without taking a hit. Nice. My bird taking all of the hits in the world. Go, bird. Good job. And then we don't get the big health increase that which we really could have used. It's, it's fine, you know? Citrus has just taken the most damage I've ever seen. Holy cow, what chunked him so badly? I know his name is Citrus, but I will not not call him Citrus. He's Citrus to me, damn it. And, and now I've taken so much damage. Like, what the heck? It's all taking a turn for the worst. Not a turn for the worst, a turn for the worst. Like, it, the turn couldn't be any more worse than it is now. And that's how worse it gets. I was gonna say, let him spawn. Take him out. Let another one spawn, because you know what's gonna happen. And then... You can make that without needing Bird Boy. Good. Big health upgrade, which isn't really that big, all things considered, but uh, I desperately needed it regardless. I desperately need all the little ones I can get too. Let bird guy go ahead. And then we dive bomb. We dive bomb that! Yeah! <laughs> Look! Accidentally threw out a, a freeze ball, which uh, won't do me much good. We kind of just have to melee him. I mean, yes, we melee everything, is true. But I meant get right up in his face for that one. I didn't want to. I had to. Okay, we didn't even see this screen last time, so... 
that's good, I guess. I suppose that's a improvement. Tiny, tiny health increase. Man. Why can't they just leave me alone? <laughs> Kind of dive bombing action that I need from you there, buddy. Oh, not quite there though. See, it's it's no fair. I gotta fight these bats while I wait for him to get back there. But we've never been through this door. I I bet it's gonna be something exciting. It looks exactly like every other screen. Let's go. Ah, <laughs> oh, shoot. Breaking my bird. Would have loved for you to have dived. Ah, uh, that was a bat, not my bird. <laughs> I'm mistaking the wild bats for my own bird. Citrus, you're not doing me any good right now. Shit! <laughs> this game's really hard, you know? Um, I don't know. Let's try, like, Germany again, now that I kind of know you can do something with the bird. I'm gonna regret this. But I will know how to get through that door now. Because that was my biggest problem, is I, I didn't know how to... Come on, man. I didn't know how to get through the door. I'll take the gun. And I'll shoot all your best friends. My voice was just recorded and uh, uploaded to a database somewhere for that little remark. Ah, I don't, I don't prefer the boomerang. I, I still haven't used it. Maybe I do prefer it. I just haven't given it a chance. Who can tell? No, because I have to get to the other side of the door. Good point. Good point. Shouldn't have climbed. <laughs> I'm on the side of the switch. I need to be on the side of the door. That's kind of what the problem is. Appreciate the health cross, if nothing else. Ah, you know, at least with getting to choose a level, that's helped with the, uh... The Let's hope that with the monotony a bit, like if I were just stuck on that first level for this entire episode... Me oh my. Would have been a sad time indeed. <laughs> would have gotten a little ornery towards the end there, but the, at least a little bit of variety has helped keep it... I'm not gonna say good, but palatable? Like I've been able to stomach it so far? It's kind of a garden variety, not very great game, you know? Like, I'm not gonna uh, be the kind of guy who's, like, exaggerating and being like, Ah, Eight Eyes, worst game ever. I played X-Men, right? That's at a whole new bar. A new paradigm in... Cinema. Cinodime! <laughs> I don't find my way back here again. Okay, well, so Germany is still a maze. I still don't know where I'm going in Germany. But enough about the country. I've never been to Germany. I, I have technically been outside of the United States. I have been to Winnipeg in Canada and a few other very tiny rural locales. Nothing that you could really count as, you know, being a world traveler. Hey, turns out I just had to go down there, right? Please say yes. Yeah, yeah! Here we go. Perhaps a door? Yes, a door. Just let Bird Brain take care of that one. Okay, I'm prepared to see things I've never seen before. Hmm, blue knights with spears. I have a feeling that uh, I should get my money back from that travel broker. He 
sold me a garbage travel plan. I was like, I want to see something exotic. And here I am, finding myself in Ohio. Okay, well, back to Danny DeVito. Which means... Climb the stairs? I don't know where I'm going, man. And again, that's... That's kind of a problem. This ain't a Metroidvania, it's just a... Vania? What? Okay, I can't go through there. I've reached the end of the level. There's nothing more to see. Pack up your bags and go home. We're almost there, just a couple more minutes, and then I can look onto greener pastures. Like Hikari Warriors 3. No, <laughs> that's that's not next. That's that's not yet. Not not even nearly yet. Don't worry about that. We're safe from the bad Akari man for a while. Man. You like how I pronounce that? You know what? Just, just, I don't even care. I'll play fisticuffs with you if that's what you really want. Not like I'm accomplishing anything in this game. Not like you can. <laughs> Obviously it can be beaten. People have done it. I think it took the Mexican runner like eight hours or something like that. Or maybe that's just the name of the game. <laughs> Let's try this pit. That was, a, that was the wrong pit. Shouldn't have gone down this pit. Probably. But what do I care, right? No, 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 let me go there. It's all just... Uh, I'm accomplishing nothing and I feel bad about it, you know? I shouldn't have gone in Germany, man. Shouldn't have gone to Germany. Okay, okay, okay. This middle one. Middle one is, I think, the the most promising path. I just somehow found myself diverged from this path at one point. Just fight me like a man. I went through that door. I never went down here, though. Oh, look, it's nothing. <laughs> it's literally just nothing. I uh, almost fought him without taking a hit. Very nearly. Actually, give me this. Between black and white, there is no yellow. True. Um, and it looks like I can actually switch back to my gun as well, so uh, picking up the boomerang doesn't mean anything bad. Unfortunately, I can't shoot the knight. Of course. Why would you be able to do that? Just the cherry on top. Oh. Yeah. I'm done with eight eyes. <laughs> Kinda over that one, you know. There's technically half a minute left, but I'm not I'm not subjecting myself to that really. You can just look at the uh, look at the level select screen. There's nothing I can accomplish in 30 seconds, you know. The, uh, don't uh, don't blame me. Blame the game for killing me. <laughs> That's fair, right? All right, well, not the most impressive start for January, I gotta say. 1990, not coming in particularly hot. I don't know where I'm going to put that, but I have time to think about it, I suppose. Yeesh. On the plus side, it's got to get better from there, right? I mean, I doubt that's going to be the worst game of the month. I thought it was going to be considerably better, though. So I'm I'm really kind of upset, which I guess that's that's on me.
that's on me. It's got kind of a reputation for being not very good. And I was here trying to be the optimistic bloomer when really you can only win by being the pessimistic doomer. So I played myself there. <laughs> uh, on that note, speaking of playing, we got more games, obviously, hundreds more. <laughs> the next one in line for the NES will be Bases Loaded 2, second season. Um, been a while since I played a good old NES sports game. Not since not since all pro basketball many months ago. So, Joy and Rapture, another baseball game that I'll probably suck at, but we'll give it a go because I'm obligated to. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If not, press the dislike button and cancel your subscription. Other than that, uh, thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.